So first of all, I have to go back to this. You pretty much are Nicole Scherzinger. Oh my goodness, what a lovely compliment. Well done on being so hot. She's amazing. <laughs> Thank can, you. Can you do a, a sentence of Nicole Scherzinger, please? I, do you know what, babies? You know what, baby cakes? I just want to say three words. I love you. I feel with Kim, she's more... I couldn't believe what happened today, you know, and it's all. And then you've got Courtney, who's a bit more, so we're sisters. And, you know, Kim is just like so boring, you know, so they've all got something a little bit different about them. But um, I've never actually done the Kardashians, and I should, because I'm a massive fan. You've got it, you can do this. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> My favourite one you did was Katie Price. I was just going into her then, now, when you said, I just went like that. My eyes, Carnell picks. It's all like that, the lashes, isn't it? And then she was like, her little tongue comes out and nods after what she says. I also know what it is with Katie. I mean, people said to me, you know, you've got a real nonness about your voice, but I don't know. <laughs> and because, as we discussed, you're about to get so huge, oh. what will you do, like, if you see Cheryl Cole at a party, will you just be like, hey, yeah? <laughs> I'd be totally, utterly excited. I don't know. I'd have to go up to her and say, I love yous. I do because you're worth it. I, I don't tend to exaggerate a lot of my characters. I try to keep them as as they are. But with Stacey, you, there's so much character. So, you know, you can go wild with someone like her because it's all, oh my God, I'm just like, I can't believe it. <laughs> I love it. You know, and you can really go mad with someone like her. So it's great. So, you know, you have all different characters. You know, I do a lot of soap stars as well, a lot of, you know, uh, older people that I love doing, like I love doing my Esther Ransom and my, my Vanessa and my Janet. Esther Ransom. Oh, well, let me just say, I am very pleased to be here because obviously this is a very fun item and I'm normally dealing with serious matters. So thank you. I mean, uh, I gave up boxing because um, I was losing, but I always said I could beat any man with one hand. Unfortunately, the last guy had two. Yeah, that's my uh, Chris Eubank. <laughs> but like, it's not like a man doing it, but it's um, equivalent to a woman, you know. <laughs> can you do, this is a challenge, can you do a sentence for Simon Cowell saying you're through to the next round? He always says, I've noticed for Simon, he always says, he's always sort of like, I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you, I could see star potential from the start. And uh, yeah, you're through to the next round. I know they say any press is good press, so, you know, it's very nice that anyone chooses to write about you, but all that Leonardo DiCaprio was so old news from back in the day, and nothing ever happened. I mean, he's the biggest Hollywood hunk, but I was back in his hotel with loads of people for a, a private party, got packed when I came out, and it was just, it made it into a big thing. Um, but it was never... Never anything in that. He said, you know, come back to my private party and that was it. You know, we had a drink with him and it was amazing because he was like the biggest, you know, sexiest star at the time. But yeah, no, they made me to look a bit like I was um, sex maniac and no, that's not me <laughs> at all.